I would say we pride ourselves on being the best in the business. We are always looking ahead, whether it be five, 10, 15, or 20 years ahead in order to stay on the cutting edge of technology. And we do that by creating opportunities for our members and teaching them the materials and methods in order to do so. 45 going down. With the new generation coming in, and I think with our staff, we have a third of our staff is, is on the newer side, and they represent the communities that we live in, we work in. I think that creates a bond with our members. People realize that there's a benefit in listening. They're the fact that you're willing to sit down and have discussions and let them know that their voices are heard, it, it just creates trust. And that same trust carries over into the contractors. I think our general contractors and our subs know that we're here to work with them. Ultimately, we are making decisions for the long term so that we can grow sustainably. I get a feeling of excitement from our staff. And I think a lot of the buzz is created from opportunities, right? They see that there is an opportunity for them to sort of rise up through the ranks. And I think that has really recharged our organization. It's really recharged our staff. Uh, and I also think it has helped motivate some of our rank and file members to take it to the next level. It's very exciting. We're seeing people of different races, people of different genders, people of different ages coming into the organization and it's helping us to look like the communities that we live and work in. I'm extremely proud to be in the union. I'm extremely proud of the people I work with. I know I got their back and they got mine. We take great pride in what we do as carpenters. I get to drive through in the future with my children and say, look, I built that, you know, 40-story building. I did that. I think that's a very proud moment. The union really has been more deliberate about making sure people had first the information, understood what was going on, whether it's political issues, it's community development, uh, local engagement in town hall. And it makes me feel good because I know we're heading in the right direction. More people see the partnership we have with the general contractors, the partnership we have with the developers, other trades in local communities. We go further when we go together. No one can do it by themselves. People working at this job site here, very young kids, which is good for the union, to teach the younger ones coming behind as to what the union is about. And being a steward outside, your obligations are for your membership, and I take great pride in that. You're constantly learning, whether it be rank and file, through the apprenticeship, the training that's offered to make you the most efficient carpenter you can be. That's held true once you become on staff as well. Market share is union hours. The more union hours we make, the more hours that we work. The more hours that we work, the better our lives are. There's always room for improvement, and that's what we're trying to do. Our biggest selling point is the benefits and the stability and what you can do to help provide for your family for now and for you in the future. And so that to me is a big deal. Being an engaged member means thinking more than just yourself and thinking about um, the overall, the union. Because as I tell everybody, the union is not one building or one place or, or, or it's all of us together, collectively.